So after your fascinating uh, lecture, I would just like to put two short questions. The first one, the concept uh, and the meaning of uh, uh, electronic tourism, e-tourism. E-tourism is bringing together the range of uh, products and services and processes in using technology for the production and the consumption of tourism. So it's all about the technology that we use to actually produce and distribute tourism. And also it's, also, it's about engaging consumers in that process to co-create uh, their, to, their tourism experience. So e-tourism is about re-engineering the tourism processes and enabling consumers to be active uh, participants in the production and the consumption process. And what does it mean for the tourist industry? The tourism industry means that there are a wide range of new tools that are emerging out there that they need to engage, they need to adopt and they need to use in order to interact with their consumers, in order to improve their own uh, management and their own process, in order to bring together all the different players and create a value system of, of uh, industry players that they're using technology in order to participate. And uh, what can, uh, can you predict what will be the future of tourist industry in, let's say, 20 years' time? Predictions are very difficult things to do, but um, we'll all have a very similar kind of industry that we have today. Ultimately, people eat, sleep, have fun, they go to the beach, they go and see beautiful places. So, in one sense, the industry will not be different than today. On a, on a second sense, sense, it will be quite different the way that we'll interact with the industry. We'll in interact with a whole range of technologies. The technology will proactively find out what we need and they'll fetch it for us. Uh, the technology will understand what we need and what we like and they'll filter it for us. So if you do not like Italian food, for example, the technology will take away all the Italian food restaurants that are in a, in a, in a place. If you only speak Serbian, the technology will translate everything into Serbian for you. Um, you'll be able to interact with your environment speaking natural language. So you'll speak whatever language you like on your, on your machine, whatever that machine will be, because at that stage we'll have what we call wearable machines. My jacket will be connected, my watch will be connected, my glasses will be connected. And what's going to happen is that we will speak in natural language, but that will be translated into the natural language of another machine. So machines will be communicating uh, instantly together and they'll create products and services and experience that they fit our personalized and individualized needs. So, back to your question. The industry is not going to be different in the sense that we provide similar products and services, but it will be different in the way that we interact, the way that we will find the product uh, supplier and the service supplier, and the way that the industry will give us the products and services that we would like. Fascinating. It is fascinating, but um, it seems that it is uh, for, uh, it, it will be in the tourist industry for some uh, generation which is going to be born now and which will grow up in the next 20 years. No, if I was telling you 20 years ago that you'll have a mobile phone always in your pocket, that you'll have one number that everybody can find you around the world, you'll be thinking, no way. If I was telling you that you wouldn't need a physical ticket to go on a plane 10 years ago, you would have said, no way. Now you get an electronic ticket, you go, to your, uh, you go with a printout or you go with your mobile and you're flying. Uh, it's not a matter of generation. Everything's progressing and the technology enables people to come with us. So, uh, yes, the, the, new, the new generation has got an advantage in a way because they, they use technology intuitive. But in fact, the technology is becoming so simple that everybody is using it. And the processes are made in such a way that everybody is using them. So it's not them and us. We will all be in the same game. And I know a lot of people of, of a, a certain age that they are engaging because they can see the value on what technology is creating for them. So I think, I think this will be holistic and I think it will affect all communities. 
So we shouldn't be afraid of such future. No, absolutely not. It's not about being afraid. It's actually being empowered by the technology to do better things in a better way. Uh, and to have less dependency on different people and to be able to interact directly with the consumer and say this is what I would like to have with the, with the industry. Sorry. So if a consumer has got a, a gluten-free kind of uh, diet, um, my, uh, the, the consumer's technology should be able to, to, to talk to the, to the department, to the, 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 uh, the restaurant or the hotel and say, okay, whatever I actually order, I would like it to be gluten-free. Can you please inform the chef? Can you please have all this information available? So I don't have to go around and say, excuse me, do you have this? But my technology is giving you my requirements that they are going into your technology and anything on your productions is actually produced to my, to my needs. So it's all about engaging with the industry and bringing out the right kind of products and services. Good. Nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, thank you very much. Sir. Thank you.